G'day and welcome back. This episode we will be finalising this dining table. We'll be putting some calls, some bars underneath the table, underneath the table top that will register onto the leg ass legs assembly or trestle assembly of this dining table. We will also be finishing the top of this, putting some, um, putting some sheen to it, onto it. Um, it has had a finish in the past. Uh, I would be expecting when it was, I, I believe when it was new. So, that finish has pretty much, um, is pretty much toast. And I could have, as I said, sanded it all back to bare timber and then refinished it and it would have made it look somewhat new and that's not, not the idea. Which leads me to a uh, number of options and the option that I am going to go for is with, again, like I did on my, um, on my workbench, a natural wax oil finish. Um, the reason for that is that I feel that they're easy to apply over existing existing um, finishes and it will actually soak into the table and nourish the timber. The other reason why I'm going for that is because any kind of coating finish like a two-pack epoxy, two-pack polyurethane may not adhere to what's what what remains of the original finish and then basically well the thing may um end up looking like um looking like a mitsubishi lancer from the turn of the century 2000 odd mitsubishi lancer go and have a um, quick look and uh on the internet and you'll see what i mean okay my next job is to mount this call or brace stretcher whatever you want to call it back onto the tabletop it will mount like this and this is what attaches to the base so the table doesn't flop around in the breeze now in the past it has been screwed down and you saw me remove those those screws and here are the screw holes now as after, since I have closed all the gaps these holes may not be in the same place and the uh, other issue is that these holes could very well not hold screws anyway um, because of the age so I don't really trust them. So I need to plug these holes up and re-drill them in the correct spot into fresh timber so the whole thing holds together. Now, what I could do is I could just get some putty, just fill these gap, these things with, uh, with putty, um, let it dry, drop some screws in there, jobs are good. Un. But the job won't be a good one. Um, putty does not have the holding ability that timber has. And the last thing I want to do is take this table down to, um, to my brother and um, it not be as good as I can make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these holes out oversized and I am going to install a plug. What I've done is I've used this Forstner bit to bore a hole about 20 millimetres uh, deep into the tabletop and I've also on the drill press cut a bunch of plugs with this, uh, with this plug cutting bit that suit 
that suit my, um, my hole I've drilled. Then I've put some glue in the base of each hole and I've uh, uh, rammed them in, I've hammered them in. So just a little bit of glue here. You don't need much and these are pretty tight and it's the way I wanted, um, wanted it. And it's all gone in the hole so I'll put some around the edge. Just drove them in. Sorry about the noise, I'll fix that in post. So they're now quite tight. Now what I'll do is I will take my flush cut saw. Now what a flush cut saw is, is it basically is a very flexible saw blade and it can cut very flush to the surface of the timber and then I will use my chisel to make sure that it is perfectly flush and clean up the edges and then this call will be ready to be screwed back onto here. What I want to do is I want to give this a quick sanding with 400 grade and then uh, burnish the ever living daylights out of it and that will bring up a nice long lasting sheen that's actually set in the timber and not a shine on a coating over the timber. So. Let's get into it. Thank you. 